come again. This is another episode of Echo Lead Podcast. Hi, I'm here to answer another question in this series of Get Your Questions Answered by Mukami. So today I'll be answering another question. Uh, and this is from Grace Njeri. And she left me a comment on YouTube. Uh, a question or a comment on YouTube and I'll be addressing this one in this video. So listen. Hey Miriam. Hi. I just completed my degree in 2020 and my EIA course this year. Now this is in this message came in eight days. So this is in 2022. I have applied. I am requesting you to be my mentor and engage me in report writing so that I can ge- get an experience. I f- I'm feeling so green. Wow, Chris and Jerry, I feel you. I feel you. I was here a few years ago where I didn't know uh, where to start or even what to do with my degree. So yes, I feel you. And uh, unfortunately, most of what we are taught in school is theoretical. We do a lot of theories, we do a lot of research, we do a lot of, um, you know, understanding the environment, nature, system, such things. And we are not taught about the practical thing of all, or where we come in to provide value in the world. Because what we learn in school is uh, we feel or we think that uh, when we get outside here, or they make us feel, school makes us feel like the world is coming to an end and uh, something must be done and must be done now and uh, it makes the business world look bad or look like it's negative i'm talking about my school how it made me feel or how my course made me feel especially in the beginning yeah? when you're talking about climate change when you're talking about pollution we talk about they made us feel like business is a bad thing eh? and then you come outside here after school and realize whoa everything is business nobody cares about environment if they're not benefiting uh is not benefiting the environment and so now you are confused because you have to find that sweet spot between environmental conservation management sustainability all those things that you have learned and the business world and most in most cases the way you do it because you are either going to get a job get employed as an environmental officer as a sustainability officer or uh, inspector however if you get a job in a corporation then i think you're good but if you're going to start a business for example consultants like what i do then you have to learn the business because now this is a business you're building you're not an a compliance officer <laughs> you're not the the enforcement officer you're not enforcing anything you're doing businesses you want to help the people who are messing up the world improve you know so there's that that part that sweet spot that you have to look for where you fit and uh, that is why you feel green because you're so impacted with environmental knowledge but then you come outside here and find the world the business world the economy the world of economics is totally different from what you thought or what you know and again you don't know it you don't know how business is run you don't know where to come in as an environmental uh, expert, you don't know where to come in. You don't know what value to bring in. So the first thing that you need to do is start, start, start reading and thinking about businesses. Start looking at um, how do businesses make profit? How do they? How do? Who, what? How do entrepreneurs and businesses people think? Because you must, you must first understand them because they'll be your clients, and you cannot be able to solve a problem if you don't know what the problem is. So interact with businesses um talk to their business decision makers see how they think see what they value see what they don't value and then using the information that you have learned in school now you've got to come out here to businesses and provide value that is one of the challenges that i first uh, started uh, faced when i started out when i was very green i am an expert but then i don't know the business so somebody asks you what are what what value are you bring to my business why should i even employ you that was a company what are you going to do for us you absolutely know nothing okay and uh, so that is why you're feeling green but of course it's a matter of time everything or everybody starts somewhere so uh, hey 
I'm requesting you to be my mentor. Because I have gotten several people asking me about mentorship, I'm thinking I am going to open open up space where I can have several people whom I can mentor. And the only way I can mentor you is, uh, of course, at a fee because uh, it's a lot of time that I'm going to spend with you. And uh, these, these are skills and experiences and exposure that I'm giving you that will make you millions if you really want. You know, like I do consultancy full time and that is how I'm able to live. So these are this kind of a job that I'm, I'm teaching you how to earn money. So, of course, this is this is something that you need to give back. So I'm trying all I am planning to do that at a fee, of course, sometimes I've not opened that, but I'm, I'm in the process of preparing that. The other question that so that is that is going to be sorted out soon because I'm going to do that. Eh? The other thing you asked is engage me in report writing so that I can get uh, an experience. Now, currently, my company, a called consultancy company, is open to hire. It is open to hire environmental associate experts who are willing to learn how to do sales and marketing or who are good in sales and marketing. And the reason I'm talking about this is because uh, we are a company that does environmental consultancies. And the only way we can be able to get clients is we do sales and marketing. We must get in front of our clients so that they can know we exist and so that they can know what we do and so that we can tell them or show them the value we are going to bring into their business so i'm looking for environmental associate experts who are good in sales and marketing all who are willing to learn sales and marketing i'm going to teach you how to sell and i'm going to of course now through the process of you selling and meeting people you learn the business so i think this is even the best way that i can want to mentor you grace and jerry so check out uh i think i'm going to link to do to leave that information down in the comment section on the description bo uh, box how you can reach me out and how you can do an application for that specific job it's the best on commission hakuna salary ni commission because now that is where you you have to put in your effort okay and uh, now i think i have answered that question the best way i can so Grace and Jerry, make sure to make sure to so Grace and Jerry, make sure to check down in the description or in the comment section. I'm going to give you uh, instructions on how you can apply for that job that is open at my company, a called consultancy company. It's short lived, so I need a few people, and I've already gotten several of them. So yeah, and of course anybody else who had such a question as Grace and Jerry. As we continue with this series of uh, get your question answered by Mukami. If you have a question, leave it down in the comment section and I'll make a video addressing your question. Sustainability is our business.